We are meditating today, feeling the chaos around us, the noise, the disconcerted feelings, the uncertainty, the anguish, the anger, the angst. It's all there. It's all there to be seen, to be felt, to be recognized, to be dealt with. That's today's reality. So we start with an acknowledgement of that. It can be oppressive. Like a heavy rock on the chest, not allowing us to breathe. Let us acknowledge that also. And in spite of all of that, let's go ahead and take that breath, which we are quite capable of doing right now. And call that life force into this body. And set the mind aside just for a little bit. to give this body a chance to seed into it our good intentions of creating a world of goodwill well-being, peace, support, understanding and love. So let's breathe that thought in deeply. Everything that we ask for must be birthed right here. Within me. This is the seed I have to nurture. to hold, tenderly protecting it, allowing the sun and the air and the water to nourish it. And protect it from those wild winds that are out there. The seed is in the intention, the seed grows with our thoughts, our beliefs, our actions, our anticipations, our thinking. And as we are being pulled out of our complacencies, of our comfort zones, of that those patterns that we had come to own, rely on, 
take for granted everything is shaking shaken up and amidst all this is the effort to create something new something workable the earthquake that started continues those seismic tremors have not stopped and just when we begin to think that we are getting somewhere managing something here comes another tremor that rubble falling around us asking us to tread on fields we have never come across before it's a challenge acknowledging that acknowledging also that it is our nature to look for someone to find somebody that we can blame this on a force out there that is at the bottom of creating this chaos this earthquake there is a force out there indeed and even though the temptation is to put a face on that force for our own convenience so we can target our own thoughts towards that the truth is that this force is much deeper than we have allowed ourselves to believe and accept and that we deep inside may even have partaken in creating this great divide this polarization this inability to open our hearts to everyone just taking a deep deep breath to contemplate that for a moment and even though the mind may wish to protest that thought to deny decline to move away from to admit we are a part of this system we have been a part and if we wish to correct this great divide this great polarization this great need to push away some 
while embracing the others. Let us assume our own responsibility in building that bridge. That childhood dream that we hold so dearly, that the great force of good out there will overcome evil. And indeed it will, the force emanating from love, from strength of love, from articulations of love, from actions rooted deeply in love, from revolutionary love that sees no stranger, that separates nobody. That is the bridge Everyone is a part of it. No matter what has been your experience, your growth, your conditioning, your beliefs, your fears, your inability to see a greater truth, I have been there. It takes time. It takes time to heal those wounds that just won't go away. It takes love to tend to those wounds that just will not leave and bleed and send forth the hate, the anger, the fear, the virus. from one to the other to the next. Let's take that deep breath of life within us, calling forth that love, which will cure it all, heal it all, overcome it the very force that will overcome that evil that we see and judge and put down and push away. Give that space, give this love space to flow over exactly into that deep hole that we perceive and we continue to perceive and we continue to blame. This is not easy. So we call forth all the strength that we can muster. We call forth the memory of all the people that have gone before us, that have shown us the way to stand up with determination, with belief, with absolute certainty that people when called forth 
righteously in the name of love come forward step in and put their shoulders behind the wheel as we have seen in the history of humanity over and over and over again let's breathe that thought in it's possible not only is it possible it is inevitable it will happen it has to happen and it can happen faster when we participate in that bridge building put our strengths into that in trusting that everybody is doing their best that they know given the circumstances the great wisdom that we wish to wish for that we pray for we are going to trust that that is coming it is falling like rain and there are people out there who are receiving it who are receiving it with openness with patience with optimism with hope because this is the only force that will give us life that will give us the impetus to go forward to call in our strength to be to be present in all our glory to stand on our truth to refuse to entertain anything less we are here we are here together in our resolve it does not stop us from recognizing that which is not quite meeting thus the standards we set for ourselves it does not stop us from seeing better ways of navigating this reality but we will step aside from blaming from putting the responsibility on somebody else to make this better to make it go away we are in this together and as we breathe together and as we resolve together and we we unleash that love that we hold in our heart in unison it carries such power such resolve such willingness to hold space for everyone who is suffering dealing with day to day pressures dealing with family pressures professional demands of jobs being asked to stretch beyond tried and tested limits and the question comes will we survive yes of course not only will we survive we will clear the path go forward and make space make room bring in these new designs the new thought the paradigm new ways of loving accepting supporting 
being together, we are humans after all. We are creatures of love. It is only the wounded who have forgotten what that love is like. Breathing in that thought, living that light. Nice deep breath, feeling all the way to the lower centers, to the solar plexus, to the sacrum, the occiput, the base center, going down our legs through our feet into the world as we breathe this thought in and send it to the world that we live in. Let it radiate. Radiate with such strength that we do not necessarily have to resolve, we resort even to words to pass on this message. Our being, our carrying ourselves speaks the truth, carries the thought, radiates the message. I am here. I am here to serve. Everything that I think, speak, do, communicate is an expression of the truth of who I am. I draw that force from the highest source. It is there, never lost to me. It helps to move aside any clouds that may have gathered to block off that light. I am here. Take a few deep breaths into the body. Push our shoulders back that we can open our chest, our heart center. the seat of our soul. As we call ourselves back, and get ready for our day. <laughs>